Hi guys, PJ here with another Fallout 76 guide video. Today we're doing Flavours of Mayhem, and that is actually so we can continue with The Missing Link, which is a larger quest in the Fallout 76 game, and is also tied to an achievement or trophy depending on your platform, so it's well worth getting done. Now a lot of this does revolve around doing even more things for Rose, the raider at the top of the, top of the world here the Raider Robot, and she gets you doing some really, really weird things. So we're just going to go and see Rose now, and she's actually going to hand us a pipe gun. Yeah, but it's what you have to do with it that's the problem. So basically you have a little chat with Rose, and she hands you a pipe gun. Her pipe gun that she definitely does want back, or she threatens to murder you. Next up, you've got to go to a Tinker's Workbench and modify the pipe gun. Now. I've already been and gone and done that. I don't want this video to be dragged out very, very long for you. I want to get it to a short. But anyway, when you've got it, you will modify it at a weapons workbench. Sorry, my mistake, guys. Not a tinker's workbench, a weapons workbench. First error there in the video. What will we do? Right, Rosa Stringer. There we go. We've modified this on a weapons workbench. And we've modified it to basically, well, makes everything dead powerful that when you shoot it. She has now told us to go and shoot a Uguai with this thing. Okay, so if we put flavors of Mayam Hot, there we go, and it's put shoot a Uguai with the Karma Shringe. Mm, yeah. The quest gives you three locations for Uguais. The one up here is normally pretty high level, wouldn't go with that one. I would actually go with this one here. Now, this particular one in White Springs Ground is in its cave, and you can normally stand on top of the cave and shoot it without incurring any damage at all. So, without further ado, we're going to travel down here to Miner's Monument and run across to there. We spawn here, near this little car park, and we're going to run across here. Now, we'll be truthful with you guys, I didn't record the little chat that you have with Rose at the start for a very good reason the game crashed and lost that bit of the recording but basically it is only talking to us so it's no big deal I'm going to run through the hole in the fence here and go over here I mean let's face it we all know how buggy Fallout 76 is so uh, yeah all good fun now he's in here now he could do stealth yeah, I'll tell you what we need the syringe don't we if we're actually going to shoot the thing there we go Rose of Stringer. This will not kill it. This thing is really, really weak. Okay. So we're going to sneak up. This Uguai is always in here, by the way. So if ever you need one for any reason, there you go. There he is. Now get out of the way because that thing is going to get really angry because you've shot it with a Stringer. Now you got to kill it. You have to kill it quickly while it's affected. Word to the wise, that karma stuff can backfire on you if you're not careful. And take it from me. So, as you've just heard, we've now got to go to a Tinker's Workbench and craft explosive bait. Yeah. So, to find out what you need, you're going to need a Tinker's Workbench. The nearest one to this place is actually in White Springs itself. There's a Tinker's Workbench in White Springs. But, of course, you could always go back to camp. Back at camp, we're now going to go to the Tinker's Workbench and see what is required for this. Just 
Where are we? Explosive mines. Here we go. Explosive bait requires radstag meat, one of. So we're going to go and get some radstag meat. And I just happen to know where some of that is. So there's some radstag meat hanging up. You haven't even got to kill it. Here. At the crosshairs. So let's fast travel to the crosshairs and get the radstag meat. So we get the radstag meat. There we go. Get back to camp. And of course, do the complimentary wait for the uh, workbench to kick in. There we go. I want too bad this time. Mines, explosive bait. Okay, let's try this explosive bait then, guys. Okay. Oops, didn't want to do that. Sorry, doggy. Uh, explosive bait. There we go. Come and get it. Hmm, something happened. Oh! So after our little run in there with the wild mongrels and not faring too well, we've got to go and make friends with a death claw. So flavors of mayhem, approach a death claw and make friends. Yeah, this basically is a taunt, and she says, you know, can't believe you did it. So let's let's go and do that. Bear in mind, guys, you can always run away from the death claw. sex to make friends and die again so don't miss that you have to press your, press your X or if you're on Xbox your A button to make friends when you're near the death claw it might well be suicide but hey ho so let's go and steal from the super mutant camp okay so where are we going this time north Kind of a lookout tower. Okay, let's go do that. This will be a nice low level area. Now, I did this quest a long time ago when the game first came out on Xbox. Did all the quests. In fact, 100% completion on it. And uh, I'm just revisiting it on PlayStation right now. Maybe they've changed a few things with Wastelanders. Not noticed anything so far, if I'm honest. Okay. We'll go up top and retrieve something. Is there anything worth taking off these dudes? Is 
missile launcher. Simple enough. Kill a feral ghoul. Okay. Where? Oh, it's RNG. Mm, okay, that's one place. Where else? Let's go to Charleston Fire Department. Okay, let's go back to Rose. Unless you want to eat a feral ghoul, of course. Probably not. But the world. And there we go, Flavours of Mayhem complete, which lets you move on the main quest line a bit further. Hope this bit was useful to you guys. I'll be back carrying on the quest line and doing more guides at a future date. Normally one a week-ish, so uh, keep checking back, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications, and thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.